You've probably seen it by now. Every year, there's a new tool that promises to change everything. ChatGPT, Midjourney, Firefly, Gemini. It feels like every week there's something new. But here's the real question. How do you actually use these tools in your day-to-day -day design workflow? I'm not talking about random AI experiments. I mean, inside the program we use every day, like InDesign. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Sam as always. Before we dive in, quick note, we are so, so, so close to 100,000 subscribers. If you have been learning from these videos, please hit that subscribe button. It would honestly mean the world to me. And also for this particular video, stick around to the end because I'm gonna show a full time lapse of me creating an entire zine layout in just over an hour using these exact AI tricks. You'll see firsthand how much faster this process can be if we integrate AI. Okay, so let's jump in. So starting off with idea generation. We've all been there. You open a blank document, stare at it, have no idea where to begin. I think AI can be your best brainstorming partner. I would say Midjourney is actually the best for this, but since it's not free to use, a great alternative for us is Google's Gemini Nano Banana. Gemini's create image feature is amazing for layout inspiration. You can actually find it under the Google Labs. Make sure you're on version 2.5 flash and then click create image. Here's the trick though. Don't just ask for an image. Ask Gemini how to write the best prompt for the image that you want. For example, if I'm designing a modern layout magazine, I'll ask, what's the best prompt to generate a clean, minimal magazine layout? Gemini will give you sample prompts, keywords, and visual references, and once you find something that sticks, feed that prompt back into itself, and you'll instantly get layout ideas to actually build from. If you don't love the first results, you can ask for variations, tell what you liked, what you didn't, and try to be as detailed as you can in the step, as it will do the remix for you and adjust the images as you prompted it. When you land on something that feels right, save that image as your reference for the next step in InDesign itself. All right, now that we're in design, let's talk about some of the great ways you can work with images. Sometimes you're looking for a specific vibe for your photos, which should take a long time to actually find the perfect photo. So the first technique you can use is to generate an image directly in InDesign itself. All you have to do is go to window, text to image, turn on the advanced tab for some extra options. You can once again ask AI to help you create the prompt for the image generation platform you're using, then copy your prompt and paste it into the box. In this case, it's Adobe Firefly. Set your aspect ratio. I personally like portrait for editorial work. Choose the style from Firefly's preset and hit generate. Firefly will give you several images. All you have to do is pick the one that fits your design best and drop it straight into your layout. If you don't like what you have, modify the prompt or simply click generate again on the image you like to get a brand new set of images. No more stock photo digging for hours, which man, I am guilty of doing. Sometimes you have to have the perfect image, but it's in the wrong orientation, like landscape when you need portrait. That's where generative expand comes in and saves the day in InDesign. You have to select the image frame, drag it out with your image inside, and then go to the text to image tab like we did in our previous step. Now you'll see generative expand. Click generate and Firefly fills the extra space automatically. It matches colors, light, and texture beautifully. And honestly, this sure beats having to find a different image or shift your entire layout to change. The next thing you can do is this. Once you got your image in place, you can take it further in Photoshop. So we're using InDesign's cousin here. Open the file in Photoshop, use generative fill to add or remove details. Maybe it's a small dog that you wanna add, a new object, or a cleaner background. Select the area with a selection tool, type what you want, hit generate. You might have to do this a couple times until you get your perfect image, but honestly guys, once you have it, you are golden. Then save the Photoshop file, place it back into InDesign, and here is the cool part, guys. InDesign lets you toggle Photoshop layers directly. If you first simply drag and drop your Photoshop file in, and then go into object, go into layer options, 
you can turn layers on and off right inside InDesign. That applies to any generative fill layers. So you can turn the AI on, you can turn the AI off as you please. So guys, speaking of great ways to use AI, I wanna show you guys something that's been making packaging design so much easier lately. This video is sponsored by Packify, which is an AI powered platform that makes packaging design ridiculously easy. When you hop on their website, you can upload your own logo. Type in what kind of products or package you want to create. Right now, Packify gives you a few design suggestions and even ask smart follow-up questions to help you refine your idea. A few seconds later, it generates multiple design variations you can preview, you can download, you can customize, and their text to image tools that makes experimenting with new styles super quick. One feature I really love is the add AI background option. It instantly blends your packaging design into a professional and realistic scene. When you're ready to export, you can generate print ready die lines or open your design in a built-in 3D editor to view your box in full perspective. If you want to try Packify yourself, check out the link down in the description below and use my code LYH, all capital, for 20% off your first project. All right, let's jump back into the video. Another great trick is mocking up products or replacing objects. Let's say you have two photos. One is the product you're trying to plug and the other is the vibe of the image that you actually want. I wanna combine these two to make the perfect image for my layout. Now, you can do that super fast. Go back to Gemini, making sure you have Nano Banana selected. Upload both. In my case, it's a bathroom as well as a chair and ask it to place the product into the background. The trick here is you really have to delineate which element you want from image one and what you want it to pair with on image two. It's actually very important that Gemini knows what you want from each image in order for this thing to work well. I have a whole video on Nano Banana prompting. If you want to learn more, the video link will be down in the description below. So for example, in my case, I have placed this chair from image one into the bathroom from image two, and Gemini will automatically handle perspective and lighting. And then all you have to do is download the results and drop it into your layout. It's instant mock-up with minimal editing. Now, let's talk a little bit about text. We've all received those giant blocks of unformatted copy, no hierarchy, no spacing, just pure chaos. Here's where ChatGPT can save us hours and actual working time. All you have to do is drop the text file into ChatGPT, ask it to format the content into a clean RTF file, and tell it which fonts or styles you want, titles, bodies, captions, and be sure to say no emojis because for some freaking reason, GPT loves adding emojis into everything. So in this case, I like to also tell it what we should use as serif, what we should use as sans serif. If I want specific fonts, I can tell it to do that for me. And then all you have to do is download the RTF file and import it into InDesign using file and replace. Then boom, a formatted text with paragraph and character styles already set up for us. From there, you just fine tune spacing, alignment, and it's a perfect starting point instead of just a wall of text. Okay, so now we have our full toolkit. We got AI for idea generation, AI for image creation, as well as editing, and we have AI for text formatting. Combined, these tools let me create multiple page spreads in a fraction of the time it used to take. Now let's put it all together. Here is a time lapse that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, and it's basically me creating a full zine layout in just about an hour and a half. And I think this is where the difference lies, right? AI takes long, tedious tasks and turns them into fast, creative sessions. So you can actually focus on your design work and getting your tasks done fast.
Okay, guys, so what do you think? Are there any AI tools that you've been using in your workflow that you'd like to share? Leave that down in the comments. Or do you wish that Adobe would add something else into InDesign? Let me know down in the comments. I love, love hearing from you guys' thoughts as well as ideas. And if you haven't already, please don't hesitate to leave a like, subscribe, and share. Again, we're so close to 100,000 subscribers. It would be a dream come true to hit that milestone. So thank you guys again for watching. With that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.